Hey, boys and girls, it's dictation time. This is my favorite. Okay, remember that we'll do our um, gestures. I will give the sound or word to you, and then I will receive it from you. And you should, parents and grandparents, you should see them giving and receiving, doing their um, gestures. Um, is normally, and, and the way we would want to do it if we were at school, we would all be standing up at the board together or standing at our tables. Um, standing up helps activate that blood flow to the brain. Um, this was an activity that everybody enjoyed because we were able to move around and it was okay to, you know, make some, not a lot of noise, but make some noise when we said, get set, you bet. Um, so, I'm ready to go. We won't do as many today, Miss. These videos are too long. But I really like, I feel like I'm here with you when we do this. Okay. So, our first word, are we ready? Get set. You bet. Let's write the word. We're going to do a couple a couple easy ones at first just to get our brains ready. Let's write the word hug, 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 hug. I wish I could hug each of you. Hug. So, remember, you would chop that word up. Think about the sounds. Hug. Hug. Now, what do we need to mark that word? What do we What do we need to do to prove that word? That's right. Little X underneath the vowel. Hug. Good job. Good job. Let's do, um, let's write the word, get set, you bet, write the word, got, 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 got. Someone the other day, I think it was Richard, Caden, Kylie, they've lost some teeth since we've been out, and they got something from the Tooth Fairy. Got, g, ot. What do we need to do to prove the word? That's right. Mark the vowel. Good job. Good job. Get set. You bet. Now we're going to write a word that's got a blend in it. Be thinking about what you need to do to prove that word. Plug, 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 plug. To charge our electronics, we must plug them in at night. Plug. I hear that that blend at the far, at the very beginning. L ug. What's the vowel sound? You got it. Plug. Now let's prove the word together. Remember, we go from left to right. We start on this side of the word and we prove going left to right. So, what is the very first mark we need to put on our board? An arc. An arc under the blend. Pl. Then what? X under the vowel. Good job. Plug. Plug. Very good. All right, let's practice one of the ones that we learned today, the voiced or voiceless diagraph TH. Let's do the sight word. We've talked about this. The most used sight word is the. Now, in Alabama, well, I think it's not a southern thing. I think it's anywhere. Some people say the or the. Either way is correct. But we've got to decide in the or the, either way, is, is the TH diagraph voiced or voiceless? How do we check? Hand over the voice box and listen for that buzzing 
a sound or feeling feel for the buzz. Ready? The or the. I feel it. Do you feel your vocal cords vibrating? That means it's voiced. It's a voiced sound. So let's write our sight word, the. Everybody better know that. T-H-E. The. Now, remember, if it's voiced, we do the little wiggly, wavy line first under the T-H, showing that it's voiced. Then we arc the T-H, showing that they're working together. And then what do we do with the E? Look at that. Da-da-da! Very good. Proved that word. All right. Let's write... We learned in the last few lessons about the ING, the special vowel combinations, uh, uh, ING, um, uh, NG, the uh, uh, ONG. I think it was <clears throat> a couple lessons back, and there was a special way we had to mark those <coughs> vowel combinations too, showing that they're working together. All right. I'll help you remember. Let's write the word long. This lesson is getting very long. Get set. You bet. Write the word long, 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 long. Hmm. It starts with a O. O N G. Long. Now, we're going to mark the vowel. And remember, in the special vowel combination, sometimes it changes the sound of the vowel. But we've got to also mark showing everybody that the O and G are working together. So just like in the vowels or the digraphs, we're going to arc those letters together. Okay? Long. Good job. We're going to do one more like that. All right. Let's write the word, boys and girls. Get set. You bet. Let's write the word. Bring. 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 When you lose a tooth, the tooth fairy will bring you a quarter. That's how much Miss East got when she was a little girl. A quarter. Some type of coin or little surprise. Bring. I hear a blend at the first. Brr. And then it's like a kinging word, isn't it? That's a special vowel combination. I-N-G. Do you hear that? Bring. Now, we've got several things we have to do to prove this word. What's the first thing we do? What do we do if the two letters are working together? Blend or digraph, we arc it. That's right. Brr. We start from the left and go to the right. So the next thing we need to mark, the next thing I see is what? What is that I? Is it a consonant? No, it's a vowel. So we mark the vowel. But the I-N-G, that's a special vowel combination. It's working together. To make a different sound, right? Bring. So we need to arc I N N G all together. Bring. Look at that. That's some fancy proving right there, isn't it? Good job. Okay, I think we need to do um, maybe a couple more of the voiced and voiceless TH digraph, and I think we'll be done for the day. Then you can go back and write all these words and practice on your packet, okay? And read the word, um, the spring book, read the book and see what TH words you find in it. And now I want you to be very aware when you're reading your AR books and reading signs going down the road and helping moms and grannies make lists. Notice the TH digraph in the words. When you see T and H together, working together, figure out if it's voiced, if you can feel the buzzing or vibration, or voiceless if it's just air, okay? Let's write the word, oh, something you have to do every day or night. 
Get set, you bet. Write the word bath, 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 bath. Some people like to take a bath. Some people might take a shower. Bath. What does bath begin with? How do we check to make sure it's a B or a D? Remember the baby in the bed? The B, the stick is on this side, and there's a big old belly. And the D, I can't turn it around good enough. The stick's on that side, and it looks like it's got the dirty diaper. Remember? So we know that bath begins with B, and then you hear the A, the A, and the TH. Hmm, now let's look, we've got to prove it. Starting from left to right, B, A, I see the vowel, I hear the vowel. And then what do you see at the end? The digraph TH. We know they're working together, but we've got to figure out if it's voiced, we do the squiggly line, and if it's not voiced or voiceless, we do the straight line. So hand over the voice box. Bath. No vibration, no buzzing feeling, so it's voiceless. We do a little straight line to represent that it's voiceless, but we also do an arc to prove that those letters are working together to make that sound bath, bath. Y'all, I think that's enough, don't you? Can we go back and read these words together? Look at this word. Let's read it. Hug, hug. Got, got. Plug, plug. The, you feel that? The, you feel that voiced TH. Long, bring, bath. Voiceless and voiced. Voiceless with the straight line and voiced with the wiggly line. I'm so proud of y'all. Good job.